Let's do these four examples to learn how to multiply whole numbers by fractions, beginning with 5 times 1 half. If you have 1 half 5 times over, how many halves do you have? Well, it's as easy as multiplying the numerator, 1, by 5. We have a total of 5 halves. And if you want to write this as a mixed number, we can ask how many times does 2 go into 5? The answer is twice, 2, 4, with 1 left over. So it's 2 and 1 half. Again, all we have to do is multiply the whole number by the numerator. What about 6 times 3 sevenths? Well, 6 times 3 is 18. So if I have 6 times 3 over 7, that's equal to 18 over 7. Again, all we have to do is multiply the whole number by the numerator. We have 3 sevenths 6 times over. That's 18 sevenths. If we want to write this as a mixed number, we ask how many times does 7 go into 18? The answer is twice. It goes into 14, and that leaves 4 left over. So 2 and 4 sevenths would be our answer as a mixed number. Now what about 2 fifths times 5? Again, just multiply the whole number by the numerator. The order of the multiplication doesn't matter. In this example, the whole number is on the right, but that doesn't change anything. We're still just multiplying the numerator by the whole number, and so the answer is 10 fifths. If we have 2 fifths 5 times, that's 2 times 5 fifths. So 10 fifths. And we can reduce this to 2. 5 goes into 10 perfectly twice. 10 over 5 is 2. Finally, 7 eighths times 13. Again, just multiply the numerator by the whole number. So 7 times 13 over 8. 7 times 13 isn't too difficult. Just break it up. We have 7 times 10, which is 70 and 7 times 3, which is 21. Those add to 91. 7 times 13 is 91, so this is 91 eighths. If we want to write this as a mixed number, we ask how many times does 8 go into 91? Well, certainly 8 goes into 88 11 times, and that leaves 3 eighths left over. And that's it. To multiply a whole number by a fraction, just multiply the whole number by the numerator. Then if you want, you can write it as a mixed number. If you choose to leave your fraction as an improper fraction, sometimes you will be able to reduce it. So just make sure if you leave it as an improper fraction, you reduce it. 10 over 5 here wouldn't be a great answer because we could reduce it to 2. However, you can't reduce five halves, so to me, this would be a perfectly acceptable answer.